It's been a while, but I'm back, and I'm here to show you how to remove vinyl stickering and decals from a car in a few simple steps without damaging the paintwork underneath, most importantly. As you can see, I've already started, and without further ado, we're gonna get straight to it. Grab a piece of the vinyl and just pull it. That's easy, done, okay. Yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, a bit more seriously, you need one of these things, heat gun. You get one of these from Halfords or Argos or Amazon. Uh, this particular one uh, I stole, so I wouldn't know how expensive it is. But anyway, once you've got hold of one of those things, you then have to strategically heat up the vinyl. Be careful not to burn your fingers, not to melt the paint underneath, and set out a bit of a plan for how you're going to peel it all off. And also, potentially in our case, look at what we're going to do in some of the places where it's already been a little bit damaged. But I'm now going to take you through the process of what to do, how to do it, where to start and the things to look out for, so stay tuned. In order to get this going, we're going to start somewhere in this little corner because it is the best place, although I have proved that I didn't start in that corner, ignore this bit because it was already hanging off because I might have hit a tree somewhere along the line. No, no. But in this scenario, and in your scenario probably, the best place to start in a corner where it's really easy to get a little bit of momentum and a little bit of the vinyl off, and then you can slowly take it further across the whole of the door. So I'm gonna set the camera up so you're staring at this bit, and what we're gonna look at is how close we should bring that heat gun to the vinyl itself so that we don't burn the paintwork underneath and we also get it off fast enough without wasting too much time. Safety goggles on. Okay, so when we start, we want the nut gun to be about three inches away from the car. So three inches away from the car, so we're not heating it up too aggressively and we're not burning the paint underneath. When we get started, we'll start on the lower heat just to sort of warm up the area and then go a little bit harder on the higher heat. Once the process starts, we're gonna be trying to heat down the door so that we can continue the process and not stop on the way. If it starts to rip and starts to break off, that means we haven't heated it up enough. And if it is stretching and some of it's staying and you're sort of losing parts of it as you're going along, you've also then heated it up too much. So we want to be sort of halfway house so that we can continue and keep everything going together. If we keep everything going together, we've got less chance of having little bits left behind and it will stay a bit sticky and messy. So we'll go for that. So that's an example of me heating up too much of the top vinyl and not enough of the vinyl as we're continuing the process. So as a result, it ended up just stretching and coming off in my hands. I can now probably just pull it, let's just give it a little bit of heat and it should be able to just help it along the way. In this case, as you can see, there is no glue, nothing left behind at all. So it has come off perfectly, exactly like we wanted it to. Although it might sound daft and obvious, don't keep your hand too close to the vinyl and too close to the heat gun. Also be careful of the top of the gun itself because it does get very, very hot and it's easy not gonna do that to burn. Okay, I'm now gonna speed up this process, get more of this side done, and I'm gonna show you how it develops as we go across the whole car. Let's do it. So now I've done this for the sake of you guys. As you can see, I've pulled this a little bit too hard and I've pulled some of the paint off. So what I'm gonna have to do is now go back with it, heat it back up and see if I can make sure I don't continue that all the way across the door, otherwise it's gonna be a bad day. getting the first bit done we've had some problems this was some damage that I had when I was driving the car as you can see there's a bit of a hole in the vinyl already that has made a bit of a mess there and also this initial bit of paint has come off as well so we're not doing too fantastically in terms of keeping it all clean but but that's how we go now we're going to continue to get the rest of it done as it's taken me a bit of a while and I said I'm going to get it done in a few minutes I'm going to call in a bit of help and Chris is going to set to on the other side of the car and ensure we get it all done very fast. He's even got, even got his gear ready and, and raring to go. And once we've done all the beginning bits, getting the livery off, we also have a trick at the end to clean up the last little bits, some of the paint that's missing, and also some of the adhesive that might be stuck on. So stay tuned, because we have more information for you to ensure the paintwork and everything you have on your car is looking good as new. That's the priority. Okay, let's get going. Whoa, whoa. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Now this isn't a really good example. 
on these rally cars, on this specific livery, I guess it's a bit hard to judge these particular panels because they've been battered and bruised so hard, as you can see, just by rocks and gravel on the stages. So it's a little bit difficult to know which bit is the technique taking it off, me, uh, and which bit is just what happens to rally cars. Because obviously, it's come off before, as you can see, because there's no paint being left on here. There's a few extra bits that are coming off, but hopefully some of the taller bits, some of the bits that aren't going through the same sort of problems at the top of the door, on the roof, for example, we can not have the same problem. Now I could say it was all fantastic and worked really well, but I could be honest and say this is what happens when gravel rash plus vinyl is then taken off of a rally car. As you can see, there's a lot of paint damage on the car underneath and actually it's all just getting worse. You can see the paint coming off there. stone chips are there and it's taking the front edge off the door it's trying to get these little, little tiny bits, bits, bits off oh yeah it's loads of them isn't there yeah it's a bit painful yeah it comes off in little bits Okay, after acquiring a little bit more help, we've now managed to finish this whole side. And as you can see, we haven't really lived up to not pulling any of the paint off. Done a bit there, done a bit there, a bit more down there, loads over here. These rally cars have gone through a lot of battering and the, the bits that haven't been battered as much, like for example at the top of the door frames, the paint has come off very nicely and not left anything underneath. But it does show that you have to look after vinyl if you want to make sure that it's easy to take off and it doesn't damage the paint underneath. So it's not as simple as a protective layer that you can throw anything you want at it and it will all be fine. Anyway, we're gonna continue. We've still got the roof to go as well as half the bonnet. There's another few bits that have sort of come through and this bit is the adhesive part sticking. So at the end, we're gonna find out how to get all of this stuff off with some special tools from Chris over there. At least he doesn't know that yet, but I'm going to force him to go and help explain how to do that. I have put this car through a little bit of stress over the year and it is it is feeling the pain. But a positive note, there is areas like, as I said, the roof, where we use the technique of heating it up and pulling the vinyl off and it's all worked and not left anything on top. So there we go. Now the last thing to add is to get some of this adhesive off, which we're gonna do right now. To finish it off, we need a bit of tar and glue remover. Tar and glue remover. We'll look at that perfection. Ooh, what else you got? Some rapid detailer. Oh. Give him go.
In hindsight, after looking back at the title of this video and what we've done, and with the car being the state it is in, uh, and also after getting a blister and burning my finger, and also cutting the top of this other finger, I can confidently say, you're welcome. That is how you shouldn't remove decals from a car, and that is how to damage the paintwork in the process. So, I've done the job for you, you don't have to copy, now you can use this as a really good and useful lesson to make sure you follow our steps and don't do what we've done. But in the meantime, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, say something, RIP for the state of that car's paintwork, and we shall see you in another video. Thanks for watching.